Hi children, welcome back to another exciting, interesting and fun-filled science class. Now children, do you have any animals at home? Do you give any animals? Pets at home? Yeah, some of you must be having animals at home. Why do we keep animals at home, children? Why there are pigs and cows or dogs, you know, chicken? Why do we keep all these animals? And from where do we get all the food that we eat? The other day we talked about the healthy food, right? So where do we get all this food? Today, children, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic that is uses care and protection of animals. That is in chapter 10. Okay, how the animals serve us? Okay, let us see. Children, let us look at a picture. Can you see this picture, children? There are so many animals here, yes or no? Let us identify which animals gives us which these food items, okay? Let us find out, okay? You can see this sheep, this is a sheep. You can see this horse, chicken, a pussycat, pig, goat, and a cow. Let us find out. And here in this table, you will have the food items, butter, cream, meat, cheese, omelet, milk. So children, can you tell me which of these animals gives us butter? Butter, amul butter that you eat, right? So who gives us butter? Yes, you are right cow, goat, and even sheep, okay, children? So the animals that gives us butter are cow, goat, and sheep, and even cream, the fresh cream that we use. Not that cream you apply on the face, okay, no, but the cream that we eat in the cake, right? In the Christmas cake, in the Christmas cake, you find the cream layer, right? And the desert, the fruit salads. In fruit salads, you will have this cream. So from where do we get this cream, children? Let us find out. We get cream also from cow, god, and sheep. Then meat. Which of these animals gives us meat? Let us find out. Yes, tell me, children. Can you tell me? Yes, pig, cow chicken and goat, we eat all this meat, right? We eat the meat of pig and that is called pork, right? The meat of a pig is called pork and we eat even cow, we call it beef and chicken, yummy, right? Tasty ch chicken and goat, even from goat, we take the meat of goat. So these animals, goat, cow, Chicken, pig that gives us meat, and cheese. Which animals gives us cheese? Just like the butter, cow, goat, and sheep, they will give us cheese. An omelet, do you know what is an omelet, children? An omelet, yes, in the morning, your mommy will make you, you know, egg. A dish from an egg that is known as omelette. So omelette is made from eggs. And from where do eggs come from, children? Eggs come from, here see in the picture, the, the hen has laid one egg. So omelette is given by an egg. An egg is given by chicken, okay? Then milk. Here, usually, we get milk from cow and goat, right? So milk is given by cow, goat, as well as sheep. But here in Nagaland, here, we don't have, uh, we don't find sheep. So we usually take the milk only from the fresh milk of uh, goat and cow, okay? Or else even sheep, uh, they give us milk and we can drink sheep's milk also. So, 
these are the animals which gives us all these different food items okay children now look at the picture and tell me what do you see so in this picture see what is this children this is a camel a camel you will find in the desert okay you won't find anywhere else but you will find this camel in a desert and camels they carry people and they carry loads also okay goods so many things they can carry here an oxen is blowing the field okay kati in the kati the oxen is blowing the land then you find this elephant carrying a log a log of wood see and here it is this is a donkey okay this is a donkey with see carrying such heavy load yes then here you have an oxen or a buffalo a buffalo carrying lots of goods and even horse so all these animals are doing some work yes or no children these animals in the picture they are doing so many works right so let us see ox buffalo horse camel donkey and elephant are useful for carrying lots these animals were used to carry people and other goods okay and oxen and buffalo for blowing the field so children see not only do we get not only do we get milk meat butter you know which are you know protein rich food all the food items that we talked about just uh, previously you know they are very you know protein rich food and animals not only give us food but they help us see they help us in carrying you know loads as well as people see children in the olden times there was no train there were no trains there were no aeroplanes or cars so these animals were used to transport people and goods okay children so these animals helps us in carrying loads and in carrying people so how helpful are animals to us right children so now very interesting activity again you will find this animals and their shelters shelter shelter means a house okay or a home the home of animals they also have different uh, homes right even animals they have they have a building a structure for their protection right so let us try to find out do you know children or do you know the names of the shelters say let us match the names of the shelter with the related animals so here you will find this animals cow pig horse dog and hen and there are, you know, shelters, kennel, coop, pigsty, stable, and shed. So let us first find out the shelter of a cow, a cow, moo, moo, cow. Where do they live? What is the name of their shelter? Yes, children, guess, guess. Tell me, cow, they live in a shelter called yes shed cow shed okay so here this is a shed s-h-e-d shed okay so a cow's shelter is known as a shed then let us find out the shelter of a pig the oink oink pig okay so pig they stay in a shelter called yes which one yes very easy big sty sty or we call it sty okay so pigs stay in a shelter called big sty b-i-g that is big and the home's name is s-t-y okay big sty next the nay nay horse horse what is the name of the shelter called 
The shelter of horse is called, yes, yes, which one? Yeah, stable. Okay, repeat after me, children. Stable, S T A B L E. Stable. So, horse are kept in a shelter called stable. Okay? Then, dog. Okay, woof, woof, dog. I'm sure you have dogs at home, right? A pet dog at home. So, where do they live? The dogs, the name, the name of the shelter is? Okay, hen. Hen lives in, hen lives in a shelter, okay? Cluck, cluck, hen lives in a shelter called coop, okay? C-O-O-P, coop. So hen, hen, they don't simply, you know, they don't simply sleep under the, you know, uh, under the house or under the chair. No, they don't sleep there. They sleep, we make a small house for them, right? For chicken, for laying eggs. We make a small house for them. And this house, this, this shelter of the hen is called coop, okay? C-O-O-P. Now the last one, yes, we were talking about the dog, okay? So dog lives in a shelter called kennel. K-E-N-N. E L kennel. Once more, K E N N E L kennel. So, children, you have learned the names of all the shelters of these animals. Keep those things in mind, okay? Very good. Now, yes, here. What can you see? What can you see in the picture, children? You can see a person like a doctor, right? See, this looks like a doctor with a white goat and even this with a stethoscope, observing, examining a dog. So, what happens when your, you know, uh, when, your, uh, when the animals in your house get sick? What do you do when your when your cat or your dog, okay, when they fall sick? Then what do you do? You take them to a hospital, right? In the hospital, you will find an animal doctor. See this? This is an animal doctor, okay? He is an animal doctor. Even this here, yes. You take them to a vet clinic, all right? So, what do you call an animal doctor? Animal doctors are called what, children? See, the doctor who takes care of animals is called a, yes, a veterinarian, okay? Yes, repeat after me, children, a veterinarian. V-E-T-E-R-I-N-A-R-I-A-N, veterinarian. Or, in short, we also call vet. Okay, so a veterinarian or a vet is an animal's doctor, okay? And the hospitals where animals are treated are called veterinary hospitals. See, vet clinic. In short, we call it vet, okay? So when, you're, uh, when the animals in your house they get sick, they fall sick, then you take them to a doctor called a veterinarian or the hospital in a hospital called veterinary hospitals, okay? Then, let us see another picture here. What are these children? You can see the picture of so many bags, shoes, gloves, belts, right? See, such pretty bags, lady bags, and shoes, belts, the belt of watches, gloves. From where do we get all this? And what are these made up of? Children, these bags and shoes and belts, they are made from what? From plastic? No. From wood? No. They are made from 
they are made from leathers. Okay, so all these are leather goods. Letter L E A T H E R. And children, where do we get this letter? From where do we get all these good leather products? We get these leather goods from the skin of animals. Okay, the animals like we get leather from the skin of animals like cow, buffalo, camel, ox, goat, etc. So what happens is you skin them okay these kind of animals you know you skin them you dry them and process them okay then you'll get all this leather products okay not only these animals but even wild animals okay wild animals like oh, you know the tiger uh, and then the crocodiles even snakes their hides, okay, the skin of animals are known as the hides. From there, you take out the skin and then you make, you know, uh, pure leather goods, okay? So we get even all these products from animals. So see how animals are helping us? Not only it gives us food, but it gives us, you know, leather products. And also it gives us, you know, uh, it helps us in carrying loads. And let us see, let us find out what else, okay? What is this animal called, children? Have you seen this animal? Have you seen this animal? This is a sheep, right? This is a sheep, okay? See, such a pretty, cute sheep. And what do we do with this sheep? Yes, we take out their fur, okay? The woolen clothes that we wear in winter, uh, you know, the fur jackets, the sweaters, you know, the warm clothes, they are made from wool. The woolen clothes are taken from the fur of sheep, okay? See, look at this sheep. The skin is being, you know, removed and it is known as shearing shearing of sheep and from this wool we make woolen clothes okay wool is made from the fur of uh, animals which covers the body of sheep and rabbits so even rabbits see not only sheep but even rabbits their fur okay their fur are taken out their furs are taken out and they're woven into you know wools and into woolen clothes. So children, can you see this? Can you see this worm, an insect? What is this insect, see? What is this insect called? This is silkworm, okay? The silkworm, and from silkworm, we get silk. Look at this shiny fiber. See, you can see these shiny fibers, right? So we get silk. These are made from the silkworm, okay? So, see so this insect, this insect silkworm gives us silk, which is woven into clothes. Then we have, yes, the bats, okay? Do you have pets at home, children? So many pets, dog, you might have a dog, puppy, turtle, rabbit, see all these animals are kept as pets at home. And what do these pets, why do we give pets? We give pets for our pleasure and companionship. Dogs, they guard our house. Cats helps us in killing the rats, okay? So how should we protect and how should we care for the animals. Animals need clean water, healthy food, and proper shelter. Unclean water makes them sick. They need good food to remain fit and healthy. Domestic animals should be kept in proper shelter to protect them from sun, rain, cold, and wind. So children, 
in the previous slides, we have seen the shelters, the shelters of the animals, right? So at home, when you, when you bring an animal, you will have to keep them in proper shelter, okay? So that you protect them from rain, from cold, from the heat, okay? And animals should be also given proper food and clean drinking water or else they will fall sick. All right, so this is how you should care for your animals. Give them clean drinking water, good food, okay, and good shelter. And not only that, you should bath them, okay? You should, they should be given regular bath, okay? Just like we human beings, we take bath to keep ourselves clean. Even animals should be given bath in a re regular basis. Now here we have uh, Kaziranga National Park, okay? This is a park in Assam, and this is a very famous park, okay? This is a very famous park for the protection of animals. All the animals that we have talked about now, we have to take care of them because they give us so much, okay? So even in, uh, uh, even in uh, India, we have so many parks for the protection of these animals. So we have this Kaziranga National Park, which is very famous. You'll find it in Assam. And we have Indanki Forest also here in our state, okay? And in this, you will find this hornbill, hornbills. Let us find out, okay, uh, the state animals and the state birds. So here we have Mitun, okay? Mitun is the state animal. I hope you all know. Then we have, this is the state bird, that is a dragoban. This is our state bird. And we have a tiger which is a national animal. Then we have this, what is this children? A peacock, yes, a peacock, which is a national bird. So children, we have found out so much about animals, how much they give us and how we should take care of them, okay? Without these animals, then our life will be, you know, uh, will be difficult. Okay, so we have to take care of the animals and until the next class, children, see you, take care and bye-bye.